Hello and welcome to the third part of my face poster tutorial series. In this part you learn how to make an NPC say what we recorded in part one. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our sound file in the correct place. I saved my file in my Audacity folder and that is obviously not the correct place. So I'm going to copy that and uh, then I'm going to find the correct place to place it. So go to your Steam folder and then Steam Apps and then your username and then the name of the game you're working on and uh, I'm working on episode 2 so I'm gonna go into that folder and then ep2 of course and uh, then into the sound folder if you don't have a sound folder you can just make your own and I have made a tutorial folder inside of this folder and I will place my sound file in there Now that we have our sound file in the correct place, we can lip sync it in FacePoser. So in FacePoser, open up the phoneme editor either by double clicking the tab down here or by going to Window and clicking Phoneme Editor. And then click Load to and load your sound file. Here you can listen to the sound file. And to do the actual lip syncing, you need to click Re-extract and then type in the words that are said and I'm saying in this sound file it's so much fun using face poser and then click OK and uh, it's successfully extracted as you can see uh, right there now that we have um, it synced you need to right click and click commit extraction to actually lip sync the file and then don't forget to save it also by clicking save so now that's done but uh, we don't really know if it actually works we need to see it in action right so click file and load model because we're going to open up an NPC here and let's open up Alex there and then you should be able to just play this and she should move her mouth to the words. So now we know that it works. So close that down. N so now we have a lip synced file, but uh, we can't look at it in the game yet because it's just the file that is lip synced. We will need to create a scene first, a scene file. So first click choreography and uh, make a new one. I just make a new folder here and call it tutorial and in there I'm going to create a file that I'm going to call scene and save that. It will ask you to create an actor. I'm gonna call my actor dude. Okay. Now we have our actor down there. So right click in your uh, in your timeline here. If you don't have this timeline or this 3D view, you can open them up by going to Window and 3D view and CC Choreo view and uh, you can also use the tabs down here. So right click in your timeline and uh, go to New and okay that's not right, you need to right click on your actor and click New and Channel. And I'm gonna call this channel just Voice this is just for reference, nothing important, and I'm, I want to add it to dude. So press OK, now we have a channel, and now we can add the, file, the sound file that we uh, lip synced before. So right click in your channel there and click web file. And uh, then you need to, uh, since our file won't show up in here, at least mine don't, so you need to manually type in the path to the file in uh, the sound property here and my path was tutorial slash slash thank you fun using face poser dot web and click OK and that works just fine so now we have this so just save the choreography there it's read only, make writable, yes please. 
And something you mustn't forget is to rebuild your scenes.image by clicking File and then clicking Rebuild Scenes.image. If you don't do this, the game won't be able to find the scene file you just created. Now that we have created the scene file, we want to create a map where there is an NPC that uses this scene file. So open up Hammer and make a new map. I'm just going to create a very, very quick room here. Minus 32, okay. Here's my room. And then I create a player start and NPC citizen. And uh, you need to give this citizen the same name that you gave your actor here. So I, I need to give uh, my citizen the name Dude. So I'm gonna call him Dude. And apply. That's all you need to do there. Now we need to add a certain entity that uh, will play our scene file. And that entity is called Logic Choreographed Scene. Just place that anywhere. Open up its properties. You need to give it a name so we can trigger it. I'm gonna call it My Scene. And then we need to specify the scene file. And our scene file uh, was saved in ep2 scenes tutorial and scene.vcd. So type here scenes slash tutorial slash scene.vcd. And uh, if you press play there, it doesn't say anything for me, so it probably shouldn't for you either, but I assure you that it will work. Now this works, we just need to trigger it now. So I'm going to set up a logic auto. You can of course trigger it in any way you like, by buttons or trigger volumes or whatever. I'm creating a logic auto and uh, opening up its properties, going to the outputs tab, add a new output, on map spawn, when the map spawns, my scene or entity called my scene, via this input, start. And that's it, I'm gonna add a three second delay to that as well, so we have time to turn around and look at the NPC. So let's compile the map and see how it looks. Here we have our beautiful map. Now you didn't hear that, but as you could see, she moved her lips correctly. And that's how you make an NPC talk in the Source Engine. So now you know the basics of FacePoster. But uh, there is much more to learn, so click any of these links here to proceed to another tutorial to learn more on FacePoster. Also, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you really like this video, you can favorite it. And uh, if you want more videos as I make them, you can click the subscribe button uh, just above this video. That would be